Hello friends. So today we can discuss this question from Sports. Hello Kitty. I hope you are fine there. And uh, this question is very is not that much difficult, but you can use one data structure here. That's why I'm choosing this question. In this question, what they are saying is that you are given a word W and you have to first print it, use it as n times. You have to print that number that as word n times and print it in, in this order as you can see they have chosen the word hello and they have to print it three times so this is the first line then what they have to do is we have to rotate it as you can see this edge goes to last and this whole string just rotate it, as you can see so we have to rotate it till the first column become the original word hello so as you can see this is the first column and uh, it is written H E L L O hello. So we have to. This actually means that we have to print the this box in such a way that the number of rows in it is equal to the number of words in the first word in the for in the like the inputted word. Okay, cool. So, but what if we use a data structure such as string and uh, we first delete the first alphabet and then add the word at the last that can also be used but that will be time com consuming and like manipulating strings in such cases can be very time consuming so what we can do is we can use a dq dq is actually an open-ended string you can assume if you have to do some operations at both ends of a string not the interior of any string so you can use dq because it, it is very easy useful to pop out or pop in at any position of a string in dq okay so i let's go through the code and you'll understand it more so what is the input the input is we have to take input such that when a dot is encountered we have to stop okay good so we will make a while loop which is always true and then we'll take a string and we input it a string if the string is equal to a dot then we have to break out of this loop because now input have to stop else what we will do is we have to take the input of n how many times we have to repeat this so uh, we have taken the input of a string and then we have all to take the input of n how many times we have to repeat this okay then we will make a dq of characters and uh, what is the size of the dq the size of the dq initially size would be we have to repeat this word like n times so the what is the length of the string m is the size of the inputted string okay cool then as we have inputted the string size m into n m into n is the size of dq and what we'll do is we'll do a for loop from 0 to n because n is the size of the how many times you have to repeat this and uh, j is the size of the actual string and uh, we'll take an input k equal to 0 and then what we are doing is we will increment the value of dq and what we will store is this i hope you understand this what i'm doing I've done is because the the length of dq is m into n and this also will go from m, m into n but we will store only the string length which is from 0 to m and we are just storing it from 0 to m and the value of dq has to go on increasing one by one by one so i have taken an external variable which will increase after one of a one factor at every input okay cool so what we have done is now we have to first print out the first value so we will do a for loop 
uh, in dqs in any data structure we can use auto so auto and we will do we'll go through the data structure and we will print the alphabets and then we give a space okay so now we will do a for loop and we have to do a for loop for m minus 1 times because now this as you can see love in this we have printed the first love now we have to print these three type three times number love and the size of this length it is 4 so 0 to m minus 1 and so what we will do is in the dq we will first extract the the alphabet from the start so the c alphabet dq dot front and then we will pop out that element dq dot pop front and then we will push that element at the back dq dot push back this character see and after pushing back we have to again print out this series which is in dq and then we will give a space then the next line character and uh, yeah i think so the code is complete now let's try to run it and see whether it's running fine or not oh there's some error oh i have written dp so i use dq i use dq for the dq and uh, yeah, i shouldn't find oh yeah as you can see boom output is currently printing right nice so now we can submit this code See, I hope the answer is AC because uh, there is no problem, I don't think so. Yeah, so it's accepted. I hope you understand the logic why I've used DQ in this. Uh, if you have any doubts, please mention it in the comment box. I'll try to rectify it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button and like button. It means a lot to me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.